семье. That's the reason we gather in such a manner. We have that hope unto the rapture. That one of these good days, in a moment in the twinkle of an eye, we shall be raptured out of here. I want to pray with you this moment as we are opening. 
the service with the word of prayer. If you could be here, you're saying, Pastor, pray with me. I need more focus. The Bible says, they that observe lying vanities forsake their mercy. Maybe you are distracted by the pressures of life. Maybe you are overwhelmed by the circumstances that you are going through. You can pray as much as you used to do. You can read the Bible or the spoken word the way you used to do. You can love the way you used to love. You feel like that woman with the blood issue. But life is coming out of me. Strength is coming out of me. But I want to tell you, there is a man that can turn on the light. A man that if you touch the helm of his garment, by faith, your life will never be the same again. You change. You will be transformed into the person that you are supposed to be. Oh, raise your faith if we are going to pray. For he is with us this morning. Shall we pray? Gracious, gracious, gracious Heavenly Father, we want to thank you this morning for the privilege that you are giving us that we can pray we can call out to thee we can seek your face and people like us knowing there is a hope that when this earthly tabernacle this body of flesh is dissolved there is another body waiting for us eternal in the heavens that there were so many people that long to be part of this end time bride but yet you have chosen a special people you told Daniel that hold thy peace go thy way this is for the people in the end John was just about to write you said do not write this is too special to be carried throughout the church ages it's set apart for a specific people a special class of people that I shall call in the final right in this end time and Lord we are thankful to be part of that group that bride that can be blessed partakers of divine nature dear God that all the saints of old are awaiting even our entrance like you expect your prophet that a great portion of heaven awaits thee we believe we are the people that will carry the greatest testimony. A people that will display the greatest paradoxes. Oh, I thank you, King of Kings, that you have given us such faith in such an hour. Oh, may your Holy Spirit take over as your children are raising hands. You know the situations that they are going through. You know the pressures that are surrounding them. You know the circumstances that they are stumbling in. I pray and beg thee, King, that you may take away all these lying vanities. Give us focus upon that which is definite and divine. Give us action that we can function even according to your expectation. That every footstep we take, every move we make, the heavens will be pleased and God will be glorified. Oh, we are thankful, King of Kings. And we believe even this moment that we are not going to walk out of this service the same way we came in. But you shall do something that will bring to pass your purpose and plan. We thank you this moment. Forgive all sins and trespasses now. Take away every impediment or obstacle that may block your Holy Spirit to have its full effect even in our beings. We desire leadership, Lord, that you have your preeminence in the body of believers and us specifically this morning. We love you and we thank you as we commit all into your hands. In Jesus' name we pray and everybody say Amen. Praise be to God. May the Lord richly bless you. Would like to greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Trust you we are all happy to be in the house of the Lord and that we are under expectation to hear from above 
with our precious brother Tinashe preaching for us Friday and this morning the same God the same spirit that's been guiding is still here to guide us but that he uses different vessels each and every time and I believe we are all being blessed by the local ministers the brothers that are standing in the gap to make sure the work goes forward we appreciate the sacrifices we appreciate their submission and their respect this respect for the message of the hour which respect is what establishes them in God's expectation so this morning we are privileged our precious brother Mashudu is going to be preaching for us we want to open our hearts and allow God to have his way and maybe before he comes we shall have some two special songs or song that we can worship and prepare ourselves for the word may the Lord bless you
I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I believe I find you well by God's grace. I would like to take this opportunity and acknowledge the pastor without uh, taking much of your time. We are just going straight into the reading of the scriptures. We are going to read in the book of Romans chapter 8. Starting from verse 19 to verse 22. We are also going to get another scripture in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Romans chapter 8 verse 19 it reads as follow. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the creature was made subject to vanity not willingly but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God for we know that the whole creation groaneth and traveleth in pain together until now Naone subumbia zolila zichituruchelwa uzumbulua habarwa vamzimu. Ngaure subumbia utavanya utara hazo uwa zilemele. Azu ufuni zoitua nge habana uzi ileme zisao. Hone zina pulpezo la uri zidorura. Ngaure italina zone subumbia zichidobo porora. Zwaba kapupuli haufi zidosina zwabu dira ngavo musiva na vamzimu bachi ya ugarani. Hone ria zidiva zwa uri zubumbia zote na zino zichadi to komerabo, zichadi songwa songwa abo. In the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 it reads as follow. Pugunia Genesis ndimaya bu toma ndimana tuku ya bu tuendi sigizi ibele ya ngawrari. And God said let us make men in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over all creeping things that creepeth upon the earth. Mudzimu ambori karite batu chifengtso chashu vaneva nga rine vaneva vusa zikove zarwanje na zindoni za taduru na mchacha mewote wazi chacha maokasha angu. I would like to title my message Astronaut Age and the subtitle the manifestations of the sons and daughters of God. Let us pray. Mighty Heavenly Father, we approach your throne of grace, your throne of mercy. We want to thank you, dear Lord, for this opportunity that thou hast given unto us. Mighty Heavenly Father, to hear the word, Lord, I'm standing as the minister of the gospel to preach the word. I pray asking for your anointing over the scriptures that have been read. Mighty Heavenly Father, may you add your blessings upon them. Dear Father, I pray that may you take the very same word that is going to be ministered and anoint it, O God, in our hearts. Dear Lord, I pray, committing everyone who is going to be listening, Lord, Mighty Heavenly Father, may it not just be an intellect, intellectual impartation, but, O oh Father, I pray that may the Holy Spirit, O oh Father, quicken the very same word and make it alive in our lives. We ask it, O oh Lord, that may your Holy Spirit come and take preeminency of the entire service. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Astronaut H. 
the manifestations of the sons and daughters of God. I would like to start by reading a quotation from the spoken word, the fundamental foundation for faith. It was preached in 550113. Paragraph 8. Paragraph 8. Now God, when he made man in the beginning, he made him superior to anything on earth. He gave him the jurisdiction of everything on earth to control everything. He controlled the animal life. He controlled the foul life. The fishes of the sea. He controlled the winds. He controlled the plant life. He controlled everything. Amen. Amen. That was the beginning of man. Man had power and had authority over all things. God, God has made a man an amateur God. As God was the God of the whole universe, man was God over the earth. That is the jurisdiction that God give, gave to men in the beginning. Amen. Amen. And in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, the scripture that we read, it said, and God said, let us make men in our image. After our likeness, and let them have dominion. Let, let them. It is a plural. We were also included there. Even though Adam was the first one to be manifested. The juristic diction that was given to men. It was not only given to Adam. It was given to every son, every daughter of God. But Adam was the first one to be expressed. But before we were expressed. He fell. Oh, Amen. Amen. And let us read another quotation from the spoken word, the fundamental foundation for faith. Paragraph 9. Now, through the fall, he lost that power. Then he becomes unconscious of the fact. After losing his relationship and friendship. Fellowship with the father. Then he lost that. Adam, when he fell, Adam, Owa, he lost the he became unconscious. That he had power, he had authority, unabulangi. and uh, jurisdiction over all things. Unabulangi. And me and you today, we are born unconscious of the fact. Because we are born after the fall of a man. Amen. Amen. We are born in amnesia. But Adam before the fall, he was conscious of the power and dominion that he had over all things. And everyone who was expressed after the fall, he was uh, expressed unconscious of that fact. 
the things that Adam used to control, the things that he used to rule uh, before the fall, they started ruling over him after the fall. And they've been ruling mankind ever since that time. Today we have got hospitals, we have got uh, diseases and sicknesses, they are the products of the fall. There was no hospital before the fall. There was no sickness before the fall. All these things that we have today, it is the product of the fall. Amen. Amen. And man has been a victim of that. Let us read another quotation from the spoken word adoption. Paragraph 76. And now this may just shock you to death. But did you know that men that are sons of God are amateur gods? How many ever know that? How many knows that Jesus said so? The Bible said Jesus said Did not your law say itself that you are gods? And if you call them gods which God said in Genesis 2 that they were gods because they were they had full dominion over the dominion of the world he gave him dominion over all things and he lost his godship he lost his sonship he lost his domain and Satan took it over Amen, Amen. Satan he took over he did not he does not rightfully uh, uh, this earth does not rightfully belong to him the title did that Adam had in the beginning the day he fell, that title did went back to the uh, original owner. God allowed Satan to take over, but he did not give him the title deed. So Satan is a squatter. He has been allowed to, to take over, but he was not having the title deed. As we continue reading. But brother, we are waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God. Who will come back and take it over again? Waiting for the fullness of time. When the pyramid gets to the top. When the full sons of God will be manifested. When the power of God will walk out. Hallelujah. Amen. And will take every power that Satan's got away from him. Yes, say it belongs to him. Amen. Amen. From this quotation, Brother Branham is saying we are waiting for the fullness of time. When the pyramid shall get to the top. So these sons and daughters of God are going to be manifested in the season where the pyramid will get to the top. We are living in an age where the pyramid has get 
has gotten to the top. The capstone is come. In this generation that we are living in. So this is the age that we have been waiting for. This is the age that the other believers have been waiting for. Because in this very age there will be the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God. They will come forth and they will take every power that Satan got. Amen. No wonder why many prophets, many believers wanted to live in this age. Because they know that in this age the sons and daughters of God will be manifested. Amen. Amen. So we must be conscientized unto the privileges that we had in the beginning before the fall. Brother Branham said men become unconscious of the fact. But God sent us a prophet in this age who taught us about the privileges that we had before the fall. He was conscientized us and to the privileges that we had before the fall. And he was telling us that this is the very age where we must get back our privilege. Amen. Amen. In the spoken word, the seven church ages, the Petmos vision, what God gives the messenger and how he blesses and uses the messenger is an example to all believers of his goodness and care to all members of his body. Amen. Amen. What God has done with the messenger, it is what he's going to do with every believer who is following after the message of the messenger. Amen. Amen. God Mudzimu. was expressing through the messenger what he wants to do with the believers of this age. If Brother Branham is the messenger of this end time, have spoken squirrels into existence, and you are a believer who is following after his message, you are also capable of speaking squirrels into existence. If Brother Branham has spoken a blizzard out of existence, you are also capable of speaking a blizzard out of an existence. Because what God does with the messenger, it is an example to every believer who is following after that message. This is not the age of Martin Luther. This is not the age of John Wesley. This is another age. And by studying in the life of the messenger by looking at the blessings that God has given to the messenger we can already see what God wants to do with the rest of the believers in this age Amen. Amen. so we are more than capable of stopping the blizzard because the messenger of this age has done it. Amen. Amen. Let us read Karba. from the spoken word Kaifilo Adoption Ube waha. Paragraph 10 Ka Paragraph ya ufumi. Now when man fell he lost this and now what he lost in the fall Christ come as a redeemer 
Did you ever stop to think what Christ redeemed us for? He gave us everlasting life. He brought us back to the internal fellowship and relationship to God. To be his sons and daughters again. To restore back all that Adam lost in the fall. Amen. Amen. Christ, when he died on the cross of Calvary, he paid a, a, a down payment. But in this age, he brought us a receipt that he has redeemed us. And all what Adam lost in the fall, Christ has redeemed it back to us. And we read in the book of Genesis, it was showing that men had power. Men had dominion. Men had jurisdiction of all things. And Christ has redeemed back us unto that very dominion. Christ has redeemed us back unto that which Adam lost in the fall. And, this, and in this age, he has displayed it via the life of the message. That this is the very age where we can have dominion, where we can have power and control over all things. Brother Branham. He said we are waiting for the sons and daughters of God who will come and take every power that Satan has. In this age, we are expecting the sons and daughters of God to be manifested. That will take every power that Satan has. Amen. Amen. In the spoken word, the adoption. Paragraph 76. And he lost his godship. He lost his sonship. He lost his domain. Men had the sonship uh, before the fall. And that sonship, it has to be restored back. And it is going to be restored back in the age where the pyramid has gotten to the top. And it is in this age because in this age the pyramid has gotten to the top. Amen. Amen. In the spoken word, the adoption. Paragraph 80. Go right back to Genesis. To the original. What is it? Now the world and nature is groaning. Crying. Everything is moving. What? For the manifestation of the sons of God. When the true sons. Born sons. Filled sons. That's why speak and their word is bent. I believe we are on the borders of it right now. Yes, sir. Say to this mountain, let it be so. 
Kazitora. Brother, Mkoma. I desire so and so. Ditama zora rona zora ro. A certain thing done. Zitu zi zoe monga uri zite. I am a believer in Jesus Christ. Dimutendi kaiso Christo. I give it to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Dis meche zaka ini zina ni lamre na iso Christo. Amen. Amen. There is a manifestation. Una ubana ziwa ngo. Oh brother, Mkoma na na. My crops are burning up yonder. I haven't had any rain. I will, I will send you a, a, a raining. In the name of the Lord. There she will come. Oh. Zotora. Waiting. Groaning. All nature waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God. God ordained it at the beginning. He gave men the domain. He gave Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ gave it in his name. With this assurance. Amen. Amen. A brother will go to a brother. And say my crops are dying and the brother will say I will send you rain in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ what is it it is the manifestations of the sons and daughters of God amen, amen. a brother will go to a brother brother I desire a certain thing to happen and the brother will say I give it to you in the name of the Lord Amen. Amen. This is the age in which we live. The, the sons and daughters of God must be manifested. This is an astronaut age. An age without a limitation. An age of the restoration of the uh, sonship. Dominion, power, and authority. Bulangi manda nanda back to you to mankind as it was before the fall and God has displayed it via the life of the messenger. I believe those that are following the life of the messenger are capable of producing the very same things that the messengers produce. Amen. Amen. Let us go beyond. Just in holding the knowledge of the message. This is the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God. The hour has come that we have been waiting for. The generation has come that we have been awaiting for. Amen. Amen. Where the sons and daughters of God will be manifested. Amen. Amen. Let us read Arba. in the spoken word. Kai kilo bluwa. The adoption. Uwewa. Paragraph 77. Ka paragraph yam 77. He is the logos that went out of God. That is true. Dingo. That was the son of God. Then he made men that little God. And he said, if they call those who the word of God come to the prophets, if they call them gods who the word of God came to and God said so himself that they were gods he told Moses I made you a god and made Aaron your prophet Amen I may act like a religious but I'm not. Oh, when your eyes can 
come open and see those things. All right. Zoru. He made man a God. A God in his domain. And his domain goes from sea to sea. From shore to shore. He has, a, he has the control of it. Amen. Amen. Your dominion goes from sea to sea. From shore to shore. He has the control of it. Amen. Amen. This is the age where the sons and daughters of God must be manifested. Amen. Amen. No wonder the rest of the believers wanted to live in this age because they knew the sons and daughters of God were going to be manifested. This is my time. This is your time. Amen. Amen. Maybe the last quotation that I'm going to read Adoption Paragraph 78 And when Jesus came being the one God without sin he proved it when the winds blow he said peace be still Amen. Amen. and when the trees he said no man eat from thee very very I say unto you you that is little gods. If you will say to this mountain. Be moved. And don't doubt in your heart. But believe that what you have said will come to pass. You can have what you have said. You who is little gods. That is uh, the group of people that brother Branham was addressing. He was addressing the little gods. You are a little god. You are an amateur god. The sonship has been restored back unto you. And we must see you having dominion, having power, and control over all things. This body is made by is made out of 16 elements that are in the ground. It's also part of the earth. You must also have control and power over this body of flesh. You must speak that blizzard of jealous out of your body. Before you can speak the blizzard in the in the earth, in this external uh, earth, you must first speak blizzard the blizzard of jealous out of your life. The blizzard of lust out of your life. The blizzard of hatred out of your life. Speak it out of existence. You are more than capable. You are an amateur God. You are a little God. You are a son of God. You are a daughter of God. Amen. Amen. Brother Branham one time when he was hunting they came a big blizzard. The men of God wanted to run away. But something said no. Speak it out of existence. Amen. Amen. It reminds me back in the book of Genesis. According to the uh, command that God gave to men. He gave him dominion over the the, 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 the faults of the air over all, thi of, of, of all things that creep upon the, the, the land Amen. Amen He gave him dominion over the 
fish of the sea. Remember the messenger. One day he said, little fish. Jesus Christ, give back, give your life back. Amen. Amen. And of all creeping things that creepeth upon the earth. Remember Mama Oposam. When he said, Mama Oposam be healed. And offer the kettle. Remember the raging bull. When he said, I don't mean to disturb you, I'm going to pray for someone. He harnessed the raging bull. We are going back to Genesis. We are going back into the beginning. Where men had power over all, over all things. Where men have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fall of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth this is the very age we know it because God has displayed it via the life of the messenger let us be conscientized unto the things that are allotted for us in this age the fall Ooh. made a man to be unconscious of the fact that he had power and authority over all things. But this revealed word of the day is conscientizing us back again to the privileges that we had before the fall to the dominion and power and authority over all things. This is the age without limitation. This is an astronaut age where we can break forth into unlimited dimensions. Where it is unlimited what God can do with the believer. There must be the manifestations of the sons and daughters of God before the translation, before we are raptured. Amen. Amen. You cannot speak about the rapture without even seeing these things happening in our lives. How will we have faith for the rapture without having faith to move mountains? Without having faith to speak things out of existence? How will you have that rapturing faith without having faith for these little things? Amen. Amen. We must see these things in action. There must be a performance of all things that were spoken about our lives. Then we can talk about the translation. We can now talk about the rapture. After we have seen the manifestations of the sons and daughters of God. But before these sons and daughters of God are manifested, let us forget about the rapture. Let us forget about about the translation. We want to see these things happening in our lives. God is very orderly. God is not on a rush. His program is very orderly. Amen. We must see these things happening in our very lives. Before the going away of the church, before the rapture of the saints, let the sons and daughters of God God be manifested first. The creatures have been groaning are waiting for the manifestations of the sons and daughters of God. Let them be manifested. This is the age. This is the hour that we have been waiting for. Amen. Amen.
Then we can talk about the rapture. Then we can talk about the rapture in faith. We can talk about changing dimensions. But before the sons and daughters of God are manifested, forget about the translations. We want to see a brother saying, My brother, I have got a need. And the brother will say, I give it to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A sister will go to a sister and desire a certain thing to happen in my life. And the sister will say, I give it unto you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the season of those things to be manifested. This is the hour of those things to take place. Take an advantage of the age in which we live. The bride of the Lord Jesus Christ rise into the occasion and manifest all these things that are noted for you. This is our hour. This is our age. Let us rise into the occasion and manifest the promises that are noted for this age. May God bless you. As I hand back the service to the pastor. Amen. Astronaut age. The manifestation of the sons and daughters of God. Surely this is the season where we must see spiritual scientists. People maturing to the stature of Christ. Like the fifth fruit. I'm sure you know the fifth. That that fifth fruit was the fifth that would ripen in the garden. And then it would be taken as a wave offering as a praise and appreciation to the Lord for their harvest to say Lord we thank you for this first fruit and we have got faith that everything else that remains in this field it shall mature to the stage and level of this fruit and we are thankful beloved that in our day in the age that we are living in in this garden of God there has been a faith fruit the prophet Malachi 4 he has been taken up and waved to our generation and as an appreciation to the Lord that we thank God that the fruit has matured to speak spirit to existence to speak a tumor out of existence to harness a storm this fruit has matured glory be to God to operate in the third push this fruit has matured in perfect lava to, to harness a raging bull to cast down witchcraft and to bring healing to those that are sick and it's a sign that all that remains in the same field one of these good they shall mature to be like that first fruit or oh, if William Branham was the first fruit pride of Christ greater opportunities are laying ahead of you and kept resources in the world power to speak the word and bring creation power to overcome the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God back to Eden back to Ephesus back to dominion glory be to God all the things that we're bringing us under that we're taking us down this is the season that the tables turn around we are back to control all that has been controlling us The life of the bride is under a different management now. Adam and power authority and access into the presence of God. It has been given up by another son that God has raised in our day. I want to challenge you this morning that you are born for a purpose. You are 
of God for maturity. There is a place that God wants to see you. There is a position that God wants you to stand. There is a life that you must express. The light of the world. The salt of the earth. Oh, get up your Lord. Stop looking at the next person. If you don't choose to stand, nobody will stand. You are the person that God is looking for. He wants to use your lips. He wants to use your legs. He wants to use your life to show forth his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord. William Branham came. He lived his day. And it went away. Now this is your day. Recognizing your message and your day. This is Revelation 10, 8 to 11 day. This is a many member ministry. This is the Son of God. Dispensation. God in man. Doing his will and fulfilling his works. This is Adam in another body. Jesus in another body. The feminist part of God. Greater than Esther. Greater than Rebecca. Greater than Sarah. Greater than Mary. If the word was in Mary, it is in the bride. And you are that bride. Manifested in your season. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. The word became flesh. This is the season. The word putting on flesh. Oh, I want to pray with you. With our heads bowed. If you've got need. Even in this life. The Lord, this is the astronaut age. I see the scientific achievement. But now I need you to help me. To be where I ought to be. Praise be to God. Heavenly Father. What an honor to live in such a season to know that we are walking into what we are beholding and what we are beholding as the bride herself taking the word itself revealing ourselves in itself and quickening the scripture written about us what we are beholding is great things and tech riches right there in the bible we've seen how this first fruit has matured and we can tell where you want us to be. We can see our expected end. And Father, we delight even this moment in time that we are born to reach those greater heights. And it is my prayer this moment in time that in this hour of manifestation, we see the sons of the devil are manifesting themselves. We see this world is manifesting itself. But now it's our hour that we can also manifest as we unite with our bridegroom, the Lord Jesus. Oh, may you bless every individual. May you take away all conflict of interests, the things in this life that tries to deter us from having that perfect relationship with you. Oh, Father, I pray that it be in and through our lives according to your perfect will. Cover us by your blood. I am praying, Lord Jesus Christ, that in this manifesting time, we may not miss the sign even of our day. Lord, if you look at the worldly events, we can tell that something is fixing to happen. Father, we see the world manifesting things that they'd never done before. And Lord, it is showing us that there is access. There is a possibility. There is a people that must reflect the very same. And I pray that it be so in and through our lives, even according to your perfect will, that we may walk this path in the footsteps of Elohim to show forth your glory and to stand where you have us to stand. Or may you raise even every heart and every individual that even after this prayer, when we walk out of this building, we are under an anticipation for maturity a maturity that we have beheld in our day that has been waved before us knowing oh god if we don't reach that part we have not run this race well 
for this mark of this age is perfection and to miss that mark is sin you say that Abraham be thou perfect as I am perfect even when you came in the Lord Jesus Christ and be thou perfect as my father in heaven is perfect father we believe we can attain that because you cannot demand perfection without a way for us to come to that it is sign that there is a platform and a path that you have ordained that through eyes of revelation we can transcend into that dimension and manifest the dynamics of our day and for your glory thank you this moment bless your son that is stood in the gap cover him by your blood and strengthen him that he may fulfill your expectation and be a beneficiary of the same that we have heard cultivate your relationship with him and strengthen him that he may be able lord to fulfill even that which you require we love you and we thank you king as we are surrendering the day into your hands as we await the night service may you bless us and preserve us we love you and we thank you in the blood and name of jesus christ and everybody say amen Praise be to God. Blessed be His holy name. He is worthy of all the praise. He is worthy of all the glory. We have come to the end of our service. God so bless you, brother Mashudu. Certainly appreciate it. Praise the Lord. Now, as we dismiss. Bear in mind that we've got another service in the night. Let us come under expectation. Even to hear from the Lord. How many are being blessed? We certainly deem it a great privilege. So we just want to take a song. As we will be dismissing. We'll try maybe one in a million. It's a challenge. Accept It's a faith to rise into It's a way I can show the world That Jesus Christ is true It's a life to live A testimony blameless Living for Christ Standing every test All together now I got a proof The power of the blood Oh yeah I gotta prove I'm not like those from Satan seated I've got to show that I'm a person That this world isn't worthy of True representatives Representatives of Christ In the field In the field as you be played The joy of your life We 
they are not like those from Satan's Eden. We've got to show that by the people that is where is it where they are. I gotta prove, I gotta prove, voice of the Lord, I'm one in a million. I gotta show the power of the blood. To show that I'm a person that's as well as in Oh, look at the now. We gotta prove. We gotta prove. Oh, wonderful. We are one in the million. Thank you, Lord. We gotta show the power of the blood. We gotta prove we are not like those from Satan. Thank you.